Hi, this is Mike and Marcia today, and we're going to be speaking about rejection. I hate to be rejected. I do too. You know, uh, you think about the assembly lines when they're going through it. I always think about Carol, uh, not Carol Burnett, but I Love Lucy. You remember when she was on yeah. the on the candy line and yeah. all the candy was yeah. coming out and she couldn't she couldn't get rid of all the chocolate quick enough and she started putting it in her dress and everything else and uh, so anyway you, you got to reject some things you got to kick some things out a lot of times we do that to the Lord oh yeah you yeah know, we kick him to the side have you got have you ever been in a relationship where you were rejected or, or I or felt rejected felt rejected yeah oh yeah definitely I uh, um for about 10 years, I felt that way. <laughs> it, ain't nothing, it, it isn't fun, is it? No, it's not, because it just breaks your heart. It tears your heart up, I mean. The one thing I can say about uh, rejection is, is is it's really nice when you get accepted. <laughs> exactly. In anything, you know, and that's what God has done for us. He's accepted us, mm -hmm. no matter how many times we reject Him. I, I think of the comedian that talks about, uh, you know, how God made teenagers and we really understand God when, when you have teenagers because, you know, here they are, you've raised them, you've lifted them up, you've, you know, groomed them their whole life, and then when they become a teenager, they reject you, and they deny your even existence. Yeah, yeah, and, Mom, just drop me off up the road. Yeah, they'll, they'll deny you, and what about that with God so many times? Oh I mean, He's God. done so much for us. He's, oh he's protected us. He's loved us. He sent His Son for us, and, and we reject Him. Yeah. You think that breaks His heart? It does. I mean... That's what I was thinking about last night. I was sitting in my room and I was feeling pretty much rejected, and um, and 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 I was like, "Wow, you know, God feels the same way." Right. I mean, uh, uh, even us Christians. Oh yeah. I, I mean, mean, we do that. You look at the children of Israel when they were going through the desert, and uh, man, God, God got so aggravated with them. Oh, I mean, yeah. and, and and his his same passions are like that even today. And and thankfully that he sent a Savior to cover us so that we can walk in the things of God and, and, and not be rejected. But, I mean, he was ready just to wipe out the whole, you know, nation and say, hey, you know, uh, Moses, I'm going to start over with you. Mm -hmm. And Moses, you know, said, hey, you know, Lord, be patient with them. You know, you've got a covenant with us. And, and, and we have a covenant with the Lord through Christ. And that's that is, true. that's a wonderful thing. But I, I don't want to be a person that just rejects God every day. I, I mean, I walk years, you know, uh, I've been the first one to nail him to the cross with my sins. Mm -hmm. You know, I've been the first one to, to beat on him. And, you know, he was the perfect lamb to sent, sent for us to bring us back to God. And what a wonderful gift mm -hmm. that we have in Christ. And, and why would, why would you, have, you have to really be blinded by the God of this world it talks about in Corinthians uh, not to see that and not, mm -hmm. to, not to run back to who created you and who made you. And, right. and uh, you know, Marsh, have you ever been uh, where you were just out of fellowship with the Lord and you, you know you just kind of turned your back on him was kind of going your own way and and uh, tell me kind of about your, maybe your experience coming back to the Lord saying hey you know I can't live like this no more or, you know Lord I've broken your heart and you know uh, have you ever had experiences like that? Oh yeah like you know seven years ago I talked about it a little bit a while back um, I had fell away and um, I, I just didn't have any peace right. uh, I, I just wasn't happy, and so uh, I had rejected the Lord. Right. But then it came to the point where I really, really felt like I needed Him. Yeah. And there was no life, you know, life didn't exist without Him. That, that You hit it right on the head right there because so many people live their life and they're trying to fulfill themselves in so many different ways mm -hmm. in this world. And uh, I was reading in 2 Corinthians, I believe it's the uh, uh, fourth chapter, I believe I was reading, or the fifth chapter, such a great chapter. But it talks about uh, how God made us to be reconciled back to himself. Mm -hmm. And he showed, he showed us how much he loved us by putting himself in Christ. Mm -hmm. And uh, through Christ, we're reconciled back to God. And that's, that's the message that we, we speak, is the message of reconciliation, bringing men back in right standing with God. Mm -hmm. And uh, not to reject him, you know, to turn back to him. Well, what I was just thinking about was, you know, it doesn't matter how many times we fall right. or how many sins we commit. Right. God's not going to reject us. Right. He's going to be there with his arms open wide, you know, just waiting for us to come back. And then I think about how God's word says that, you know, as far as the east is from the west, you know, right. God remembers our sins no more. Right, exactly. It's like the prodigal story. Yes. You know, and, and the thing I love about that story so much is 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 the dad. 
you know, he's sitting on the porch and he's looking. Mm -hmm. he's, and and God's like that with us. Yeah, he's yeah. looking for you. I mean, you know, we run from him, we hide from him, we try to do all the things in this world, you know, to run away from him. And finally, you know, you get to a point in your life where you're setting, you're setting in your misery, mm -hmm. you're setting in your sin, you're setting in your disgust in your life, and you see how, you know, you're just miserable yeah. outside of God. Yeah. And uh, finally, you come to your senses and say, hey, I'm going back to my father's house. And the neat thing about that story is that his dad seen him afar off, mm -hmm. you know, and his dad jumped up. Mm -hmm. and, and another neat thing about that story is the brother. You know, so many people are in church, and they're going to church, and they, 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 they're in the things of God, but they've got an attitude mm -hmm. towards the father. They, you know, when somebody comes back, you know, God can't save that person, or maybe it's, have you ever had a, a family member or somebody that you know that maybe you had some animosity with, and and uh, you seen God work in their life and, and turn them around, and you're like, oh, man, yeah. you know, that's a, that's such a neat thing. That's yeah. that should be the spirit we should have. Is, mm -hmm. is the brother should have had a spirit of, you know, man, my brother's back at home now, but he yeah. didn't. He had a lot of anger against his brother. Yeah, which isn't good. That's never good. You know, he was mad. He was always. Uh, trying to do the things that he was supposed to do and he was doing the wrong things. Praise the Lord. God is good, isn't he? Yes, he is. If you feel like you've been rejected today, uh, run back to God. You know, he, he'll never reject you. I mean, he's done so much. You know, John 3, 16 is such a simple scripture. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. And that's really the gospel in a nutshell. Just come back to God. You're never going to be fulfilled in your life. Your life is short. Don't deny Him today, but return back to Him and watch what happens in your life. Mm -hmm. uh, anything you want to say in closing, Marsha? If you feel like you've been rejected, just take it to Christ. You know, He, he, he will never reject yeah. you, and, and God can help you to be healed. Yeah, that's it right there. He'll build you up in everything that He does. Mm -hmm. Amen. We love you. Visit us at MikeAndMarsha.com, and we'll talk to you tomorrow. Have a great day.